I wanted to do a quick upload on uh, night three, night three of the um, of, of the Ness Pierce uh, Tar Sands Mega M Monster Blockade, and um, so my camera thing goes off and on. So anyway, it's getting bigger and better, and they're meeting at. Um, I'm going to leave the articles with you. They're they're going to be meeting. Um, in uh, at the Pink House near Aunt Orafina, and also in Clearwater Valley, these are locations where this thing will be passing. I have to tell you that the U.S. Department, the U.S. Forest Service, has not. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, neither the Nez Pierce Tribe nor the U.S. Forest Service has granted approval of these permits issued to this company to haul this equipment. And like I said, they're doing it on two-lane roads, not out on the interstate where the public can see it. So if you're rural in that area, get out there. I think Occupy Spokane's been out there, and other community members are out there. And the neat thing is, I'm going to leave another link, that all the nations are pulling together. First Nations in Canada, all the way through the United States are gathering, and actual communities are starting to stand up. And this is just a wonderful thing. They're going to stand. We're going to stand up. People are not going to get tired of the activists. I think people are tired of the corporations. And when I did that Stratford leak, you know, they summed this up as they're hoping that the public would get tired of activists. But now the public's joining in. So um, I think that um, some of these corporations are going to have a hard time ruining Mother Earth because a lot of us are standing and uh, I just wanted to send this out to everybody peace love and truth I will leave the links below this is awesome this is awesome that communities are coming together in support and um, it is so I love you all and peace love and truth and Linda's out